Welcome to our lecture online. On this example, we're supposed to find the tangent line or the equation of the tangent line of that particular function at a particular point. Now, without graphing that function, we could, but without graphing the function, we know that in order to find the equation of a straight line, you need to find the equation for y equals mx plus b, which means we need to find the slope and we need to find the y-intercept. So first we're going to find the, the slope because essentially the derivative of a function equals the slope. So we're going to take the derivative of y, so we get y prime is equal to 10 times, because here we use the exponential rule, 1 plus 2x to the exponent minus 1, 9, times the derivative of what's inside, which would be the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of 2x is 2. So that means that y prime becomes 20 times 1 plus 2x to the 9 power. So that is the derivative of the function anywhere as a function of x. Now we need to find the derivative at this particular point when x is equal to 0. So now we can say that y prime when x equals 0, that is equal to 20 times 1 plus 2 times 0 to the 9 power. Of course, this becomes 20 times 1 to the 9 power. Of course, 1 to the 9 power is simply 1, so this is equal to 20, which means the slope of our function at the point 0, 1 is equal to 20, which means our equation becomes y is equal to 20x plus b. The next step, we need to find the y-intercept b, but we're given a point 0, 1, which means when x equals 0, y equals 1, and we can plug those values into our equation. So when x equals 0, so we get 20 times 0, then y equals 1, and we have plus b. So in this case, we get 1 equals b. That gets plugged back in here. So now we have y is equal to 20x plus 1. And that is the equation of the tangent line at the point x equals 0, y equals 1. And that is how it's done. Oh, okay, so the b here? Yeah. yeah, so we want to put that back in here. We substitute it in to get this equation. All right, that's how it's done. You don't graph it? No. Well, we could if you really wanted to. Let's see here. When uh, x equals 0, y equals 1 to the 10th power, which is 1. All right, so when x equals 0, y is 1. So we have a point right there. When x equals negative 1, we get negative 1 times 1, that's negative 1 raised to the 10th power, that's a positive 1. So when x equals negative 1, x equals 0, we get this again. And then when x equals negative 1 half, we get 0, and 0 to the 10th power is 0. So when x equals negative 1 half, it's here, so the function looks like this. And so you can see that now, as x gets bigger, the slope gets very quickly, very steep. And notice that we're looking for a line that is tangent to the function at x equals 0. Yeah, I can go ahead and try to see if this red works. Um, so at this point, we want to find a tangent line, so it kind of looks like that. Right? And that's this function right here, x equal, uh, y equals 20x, so 20, it's a very steep slope. And you can see that at that point, uh, that's when y equals 1, right? That's the intercept of the line. There it is. Okay. <laughs> so y equals 20x plus 1. That's not a very bright pen, but hey, kind of works. That's it.